For 10,000 years, the earth here was silent. No fire, no ash, just the quiet, invisible grinding of a continent. But that silence, it's shattered. In the remote far region of Ethiopia, the Haley Gooby volcano just woke up. And it didn't just wake up, it screamed. A massive column of ash shot 30,000 meters into the sky, breaking a dormancy that has lasted longer than recorded human history. But here is the terrifying part. This wasn't just a random eruption. This is the starting gun for something much, much bigger. The continent of Africa is literally ripping itself apart. Right now, beneath our feet, the tear across the continent. The ground is cracking open, revealing deep fissures that seemingly appear overnight. We aren't talking about a few centimetres of movement over a million years anymore. We are talking about a geological event that is accelerating fast enough for us to watch it happen in real time. The surface is splitting, the magma is rising, and the evidence suggests that the map of the world as we know it is about to change forever. Stick around, because we are about to dig into the deep earth engine that is driving this chaos and uncover why this 10,000 year silence was broken. Let's get straight to the geography of this disaster. We always think of continents as solid, immovable slabs of rock, but that's a lie we tell ourselves to feel safe. In reality, the ground beneath East Africa is being pulled in three different directions at once. It's called the Afar Triple Junction. Imagine a wishbone, but instead of bone, it's the Earth's crust. And instead of two people pulling, it's three massive tectonic plates, the Nubian, the Somalian, and the Arabian, all fleeing from each other. This is strictly defined as a rift, rift, rift zone, a rare geological laboratory where we aren't just guessing. We are actually watching a continent die and a new ocean being born in real time. And the speed of this breakup, it is absolutely frightening. Advanced satellite geodesy and ground sensors are now clocking the separation at a consistent 15 to 20 millimeters every single year. To the average person, that might sound small, barely a fingernail's width. But in geological terms, that is sprinting. That is the tectonic equivalent of a high-speed chase. It is roughly the exact same speed that the massive mid-Atlantic ridge spreads to create new seafloor. Do you realize what that means? It means this isn't just a dry crack in the desert. Structurally, it is already an advanced oceanic spreading center that just hasn't filled with water yet. The land is literally tearing itself into jagged fragments, isolating chunks of crust. We are seeing the creation of independent rotating microblocks, like the Dana Keel Plate, that are now dangerously floating on a destabilized sea of rising magma, completely untethered from the main African continent, the monster beneath. But why now? Why, after 10 millennia of quiet, is the ground suddenly bursting open? To find the answer, we have to go deep, much deeper than the crust. We have to look at the African superplume. Scientists call it Tuzo. It sounds like a name for a pet, but it's actually a massive, terrified anomaly sitting at the boundary between Earth's core and the mantle. Imagine a blob of rock, hotter, softer, and more distinct than anything around it rising like a slow motion mushroom cloud for thousands of kilometers. Seismic tomography, which is basically an MRI for the Earth, has mapped this thing. It sees large low shear velocity provinces. That's science speak for massive zones where seismic waves hit the brakes because the rock is slushy and hot. This superplume rises all the way from South Africa, swelling and spreading out right beneath Ethiopia. It acts like a blowtorch against the bottom of the continent. It's not just passive drifting. This is an active thermal assault. The continent isn't just splitting, it is being pushed apart by a billion year old upwelling of heat. An engine that has finally revved up enough to break the surface seal. A chemical distress signal. Now you might be thinking, how do we know this magma is coming from the core and not just some local pocket of melted rock? Because the earth has a fingerprint and right now, the Afar region is leaking a very specific, very ancient chemical. It's called helium-3. Here is the thing about helium-3, it's primordial. It was trapped inside the Earth when the planet was first forming, billions of years ago. Usually when volcanoes erupt, we see helium-4, which comes from the decay of radioactive stuff in the shallow crust. But in Ethiopia, 
the sensors are picking up helium-3 ratios that are off the charts, 20 times higher than normal atmospheric levels. This is a high R slash ray value, a chemical screen proving that the material exploding out of Haley Gooby isn't fresh or recycled. It is pristine, ancient material straight from the deep mantle, fast-tracked from the core to the surface. It's a direct distress signal from the center of the Earth, confirming that the superplume isn't just sitting there, it's actively feeding the surface rupture. The underground web. Here is where it gets even more unsettling. We tend to look at an eruption here and an earthquake there as separate, isolated events. But the new evidence suggests that the entire plumbing system beneath East Africa is secretly connected. We are witnessing a phenomenon scientists call dike intrusions. Think of these not just as cracks, but as massive vertical sheets of magma, building up impossible amounts of pressure until they violently slice through the crust like a hot knife. And we aren't talking about small, localised veins here. We are talking about a colossal, continuous injection of molten rock stretching a staggering 450 kilometres between the Dauphin and Fonel volcanoes. This confirms that a vast network of magma tubes exists up to 100 kilometres deep, acting like a hydraulic jack. It means a tremor in Tanzania can trigger an eruption in Ethiopia, because the entire continent is being unzipped from the inside out. When the magma pushes in, it forces the land apart. This is the primary engine of the breakup. It's not a slow stretch, it's a violent injection. In the Dabahu segment alone, they tracked 14 of these events in just five years. And history shows us that these things communicate. A tremor in Tanzania can trigger an eruption hundreds of miles away in Ethiopia. It implies there is a vast, interconnected network of magma tubes and chambers at depths of up to 100 kilometers. The whole foundation of the continent is being rewired, creating a coordinated system designed to shatter the crust from below. The inevitable ocean. So what is the end game here? Where does this all lead? The science is clear. We are watching the birth of a new ocean. It won't happen tomorrow, and it won't happen next Tuesday, but the process has passed the point of no return. As the plates pull apart, the land in the Rift Valley sinks. It gets thinner and thinner, battered by the heat and the stretching. Eventually, the barriers holding back the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean will fail. The water will eventually rush in. An unstoppable, catastrophic deluge from the Red Sea and Indian Ocean, breaching the natural dams and flooding the Afar Depression. In a geological blink of an eye, the scorching desert will be transformed into a brand new seabed. Africa will irrevocably lose its horn. The massive Somalian plate will drift away, isolating itself to become a giant island continent, separated from the Nubian plate by a nascent, widening ocean complete with its own active mid-ocean ridge. The eruption at Haley Gooby was far more than a volcanic sneeze. It was the warning bell ringing loud and clear to announce this terrifying new phase. The 10,000 year nap is officially over. The geo batteries of the Earth, those immense reservoirs of thermal and kinetic energy are fully charged. The crust is failing, the rift is opening, and the great separation has begun. A warning from the deep. This isn't just a geology lesson. There are millions of people living in this rift valley. The same forces that are creating a new ocean are also generating toxic gases landslides and earthquakes in vulnerable areas. The Earth is dynamic, it is violent, and it is indifferent to us. The breaking of the 10,000 year silence is a reminder that the ground we stand on is not permanent. It is merely a raft, floating on a chaotic, churning ocean of rock that is constantly rewriting the map. We are just lucky enough, or unlucky enough, to be alive during the split. The ocean is coming for East Africa. The only question left is, how violent will the transition be? If you thought this deep dive into the Earth's engine was mind-blowing, hit that like button and subscribe for more.